Hi, welcome to Your Time to Shine, your hosts, Darlene and Julie. Your Time to Shine is a radio show designed to invite you to embrace your own divine gifts. That's right, your own gifts, and we all have them. And what Julie and I really love to do, our passion is to help people see that they have these gifts and empower them. So tonight is an especially powerful topic because so many people believe that in this universe we live in that they don't have any control of what happens over them. So Julie and I would like to talk to you tonight about another point of view, a different perspective about what the universe is really all about and how it is that you can have be aware of more control in your own life. So Julie, were you ever told that the universe happens to you, that if something should happen, it's a lesson for you to look at? Oh yeah, absolutely. (laughs) Absolutely. Yeah. More of an older paradigm and a lot of work um, that both Julie and I have been doing is stepping into something new, an understanding that's different. And you can call it law of attraction or uh, quantum physics. But what happens is the universe is responding to us. The universe is giving us matching what what our energy is putting out. So when we think something is happening to us, it's really a chance to stop and take a look at what it is we're we're putting out into the universe to really pay attention to what it is we're asking for uh, and what it is that um, vibrationally the universe is trying to match. Do you agree with that, Jules? Oh yes, absolutely. Yes, it, you have to be. Um, you have to be in that, like you said, that vibrational, um, that high vibrational part, uh, because it gives back exactly what you send out um, into the world. And if you are trying to make a decision on something, but you are all over the board, you're over here, then you're over there. The universe is saying, oh, okay, I'll give you this. Oh, wait, she changed her mind. She's now over here. Okay, we'll give her this. And they, it never seems to catch up. (laughs) (laughs) Darlene and I have had these conversations before. Or if you're always, you know, down and negative um, and you can't seem to find your way up, that's what the universe is going to give back to you. Just more of that. And I'm sure so many people have heard when something happens, just accept it, or is it is what it is. It's what the universe wants for us. Right. Well, here, Julie and I are here to tell you that there's another way to look at that. You can look at something and you can say, wait a minute, I'd like to create something else. It's not just it is what it is. You can look at something and say, I'd like to change that. And you have all the power and all of the control in a circumstance Mm -hmm. to change something within that. Uh, And we, we often believe we have no control, but we do. So if you don't like something showing up, you don't have to just accept it. You can look at it and you can say, okay, I don't want this. I would prefer this. How can I change it? What can I go about doing that will contribute to something else, that will contribute to a life that I would like to have? The universe is not happening to you. You can create it. Right. And it's, it's when you acknowledge that you actually do have this control you can create anything and everything. Right. And, and it's just thinking you you can't that stops you and sticks you. Right. And when you when you get to that point and you there's something there that you decide this isn't working for me, I would like another choice, 
you have to be in that vibrational energy that creates that. If you're still stuck in a position where um, your vibration is low, you are looking at the negative side of it, you may want to wait until you can raise your vibration up a little higher, be a little more positive, um, and then ask at that point, because you literally are gonna get back what you ask for. Right, so when something does happen, that you don't particularly care for, that is the perfect opportunity to stop and say, oh, wait, what, what am I thinking? What thoughts am I putting out into the world? What are my beliefs that are demonstrating to me that are showing up that I wasn't even aware that I had? So oh. how, how often are you thinking negatively? Because more will show up. So that whole idea also about being in resistance, uh, that's often when people will say, oh, I guess it's supposed to happen. I don't want it to, but it's showing up anyway. So this is must be what the universe or it, spirit wants for me. Right. The resistance is more about the focus and the energy that you're putting into something. That's what the universe is going to be responding to where you place your focus. So if it's in the resistance to something, what the universe is reading is, oh, she wants more of that. So you'll receive what you're resisting because that's where your focus is being placed. So it's a beautiful opportunity to stop and acknowledge, uh, what am I thinking? Because this keeps showing up. Right. And belief systems um, have a way of really impacting um, how we create our life and, and what we create. Um, so sometimes you need to get rid of those uh, belief systems um, or things that don't serve you any longer and change the way uh, you think. Right. And yeah, especially being conscious of what we're thinking. Uh, so there's there's a few different ways to go about doing this regularly. Um, so first of all, being open to new experiences. So like Julie just said, our beliefs, you know, if we are stuck in our beliefs, things won't change. So if you keep finding yourself in a job that you don't like, oh, it must be the universe wants this to happen. But be open to new experiences, new new kinds of jobs. Look for something different because sometimes we'll pick the same pattern. So be open to new experiences. Uh, be aware of your thoughts. And also acknowledge what underlying energies you might have. So something like if something keeps showing up, it might be because it's something your mom taught you that you didn't even realize you were playing out or living out. So really being conscious of all of that is so helpful. Um, and be kind to yourself. So when things do show up, you, know, you don't have to go into the, the heavy and the negative and ah, you know, I did it again. Just, you know, be kind with yourself and ask what else is possible here. Um, all right. And don't just trust that everything is happening for a reason. If you don't like it, you can change it. What else right. is possible? Yep. And a lot of times things, things happen to bring us into that awareness of what we can change and what else is possible. You know, the other thing too is anything that you say out loud so is very, very powerful and it solidifies in the universe. So, you know, we all like to joke and all of that, but when you're having a conversation, be aware of the words that literally come out of your mouth because they're very powerful and the universe is listening and they will give you what you ask for. Right, because what you're saying, your body will be that energy of what you're saying. That's right. <laughs> so the universe will say, oh, here you go. Here's some of that. Now I had a friend um, a while back and she always used to say, 
bad things always happen to me. I'm a weeble, but I always, you know how weebles don't fall over. They just always pop back up. So every year, every few months, she would say this. Bad things always happen to me. So what happened? She created situations in her life, and they kept recurring, recurring, recurring. So when that is something that may take place, you can say, hey, wait a minute, stop. What am I thinking? What do I believe? Is this what I would like to create in my life? Because I am the creator of my reality. What else is possible here? And you can right. stop the pattern. You can stop what keeps showing up. Right. Have another very... Yeah, another very powerful thing is the words I am. When you say I am and then you insert fill in the blank. You you like Darlene said, you create that your body energetically reacts to that. So when you are using the words I am, be very positive in what you're using those words. You know, don't say you know, I am tired because all of a sudden then you become very tired and you don't know why. Well, it's because you've just now confirmed and you've asked the universe, you said, this is what I am. And they're like, okay, here, <laughs> a little bit more of that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so again, it just, you have to be careful of the words that you use. Anything that's affirmative and Darlene, you just, you just said something um, your friend, she says, these things happen to me. So it, that sentence is very affirmative. So again, that's like saying I am. And so the universe is going to give back in that way. Right. It's almost like she's demanding it because we live in an ask and a receive universe. You know, you ask for something and it shows up. So be aware of what you're asking for and to <laughs> and remember life isn't happening to you you are creating your reality and even if it's something that seems as if you have no control over because let's face it especially in these days and times it feels like some things are out of our control Somewhere within a situation, you have a, you have some control, a way that it will affect your life. How are you responding and reacting? And are you asking what else is possible? Right. So. And what you what you see as what the end result right. might be might come in at a different way. Oh. So don't just assume that because it didn't happen a certain way, it wasn't right or it didn't you know, you, you misjudged it. Uh, the universe, you know, can give you something and create something for you. And you think, well, that wasn't exactly what I was, you know, planning on or thinking about, but it does serve the purpose. So right. it'll match well, your energy. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So remember that you have control over your life. You create your reality, and this is an ask and a receive universe. So what are you asking for, and what are you willing to receive? So are we ready for a caller? Absolutely. Great. So I see that Stephanie from San Diego is on the line. Stephanie, are you with us this evening? I am so with you guys. How Yay. are you? Good. Welcome. How are you tonight? I'm great, and I feel like everything that you just said was for me. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> we love it when that happens. <laughs> I love it. Um, I love the um, making sure your vibration going out is um, or going out is what you want matched in return. So I have. I have problems with that sometimes where I can get caught up at work and I feel myself going lower, but it's, I don't dig myself out in time. So I'm putting out negative vibrations and I'm also getting it in return. So it's hard to block it, shield it and get it away. Right. <laughs> um, so yeah. 
I actually have, I have two kind of separate things, but mainly um, I have some really good possibilities of a career change happening this year. And so I'm more curious about if, if you get anything from, if this is the direction that's probably the best way for me to keep going, is it something that will keep progressing me on my journey? keep elevating me? Do you feel anything? I don't know about you, Darlene, but I'm getting a big thumbs up on this one. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, I um, immediately, uh, I immediately got the feeling of being uplifted, uh, you know, being lifted up uh, towards the sky. And so I would say that this path that you are creating is, is definitely a good way to go. Um, it, it's going to give you some satisfaction. Awesome. I'm, um, I'm a therapist right now for, um, children with disabilities and communication disorders. And I love the treatment, but I'm starting to see, I, I've, prayed a lot I meditate a lot on it and I'm seeing just so many gaps and things that we haven't really touched on on how to develop um, in the field so I'm applying for my PhD in hopes to have um, the opportunity to do the research around other like-minded professionals to help kind of maybe blaze a new path for that arena is what I'm hoping so I'm I really want the opportunity and I think it would help um, me learn lessons along the way for myself, for my family, and then hopefully help other families, obviously, and along the journey. So I was just hoping that that's something that maybe am I going just in that right direction? Because I'm sure I can still blaze that path, um, not having to go the PhD route, but I think um, it's the best avenue. Right. So what there is a fun trick to, to do that the universe will respond to. So if you can imagine what you would feel like or what the energy you would have in these situations, the universe will give you, will send you whatever those situations are that will, rec that will create that energy for you. Okay. So okay. if you can picture yourself almost revamping the, the community, it, it, it will happen, and the universe will give you those opportunities that you can step into. Um, oh, I feel like my heart can explode. I, <laughs> I have a name for you, too, somebody who does the work you do, and she does it in a very unique and beautiful way. Um, her name is Anne Shirley. Anne Shirley. And if you, yeah, if you look her up, um, she uh, is a therapist for special needs children, and she also is an access consciousness certified facilitator. Oh my uh, gosh, I just got chills everywhere. <laughs> yay! She is so amazing. Book, she wrote a book, and it's called Would You Teach a Fish to Climb a Tree? Oh, okay. And I feel like is, I may have heard of that book. <laughs> it is a phenomenal story. You know, it's 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 about her, her path, and some of the children and families that she's worked with. And access consciousness is a terrific uh, tool modality that she uses in her practice that goes beyond uh, the typical uh, mainstream ways that don't really touch on it's exactly what you're talking about it doesn't and it's really so get, necessary yeah yeah and so many therapists are afraid to go outside of the box because you know there are so there is so much form and structure within what you do so right this book um you can she, you can email her she emails back like within minutes i've i've spoken with her a few times on the subject because i've worked with children and families so yeah, give that a try, and I'm sure she'll have incredible oh. resources for you. Thank you so much for that. That's amazing. You're welcome. Yeah, and, 
And Stephanie, I just want you to know that your team, your spiritual team is celebrating right now. I mean, mm -hmm. my body is just like, I'm so excited that I want to jump out of my seat. So I know that's oh, for what? you. <laughs> Yay. And it's so, I just have chills, just <laughs> waves and waves of chills all over. I love that. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. And then um, the only other question I have is because I feel I feel like I might be going a little crazy, but I, I'm a little intuitive. I really would love to develop this side. But what I'm getting at is recently um, in my home, my son has been saying that he's scared because there's someone in his bathroom. I've been seeing shadows walking around the house. There'll be pictures that are falling off of my walls. Um there's just things happening, and I've had relatives that have passed away before, and they've, I've felt them very strongly, and I've had um, some mediums tell me that it was them and it was fine, but I'm not getting anything right now, and so I just wasn't sure if you could pick up on anything around us. I stage, we, you know, we, we pray, we hold our house with light, but I just wasn't sure when what's happening. Is it uh, your son, when he talks about it, is it something that he's frightened about? He Before, he wasn't. He would tell me that he saw his angels. He had three of them. Like, he was very specific, and he's five. Uh -huh. um, but this last week, there was. He ran into my bathroom from his and said that someone was in there, and it scared him. And that was the first time that he's ever done that. Uh-huh. Um, you can do a couple of the things. Uh, I'll give my technique, Julie, and then do you want to give yours? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what you, you go into there, so remember that there is nothing more powerful than you, and you can tell that to your son as well, because sometimes okay. we think the spirit world and ghosts can control us, you know, out of fear. Always remember that nothing is more potent than you are. So you say to this entity, who are you? Who were you before that? 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 Who will you be in the future? Go be and do that now, taking all of your imprinting with you. Um, because a lot of a lot of times they don't realize they're gone, that they're dead. A lot of times okay. they're, they're earthbound. So tell, tell them to leave and tell them to take all of their imprinting with them. Oh, and fabulous. Yeah, and it's it's really that simple because I used to do the saging and the and I would have asthma attacks. <laughs> um, yeah, so you don't need all the smoke. You just tell them, and it's your home, and they have to listen. Okay. So, um, and but Julie has some other resources. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I I'm picking up that you have a little. You have, um. A little bit of, of both. You have some. Uh, you you do have some family members, some past loved ones who are yeah. with you. But I'm getting the feeling that there may even be, like a, a portal. Either mm -hmm. in the house or around the house. In the um, okay. In the bathroom. In the bathroom. Yeah. Um, I feel that because in is it? Do you think it's my bathroom or Kellen's? Because my bathroom. Um, I see people, literally, I see lights or shadows peeking out from the corner at me in bed. It's, it's your bathroom. Okay. That's what I thought. So, um, you know, I don't know that, we'll, that we have a lot of time to go into this tonight, but, um, there are some techniques that we can, um, provide you if you want to, uh, go to our Facebook page. Um, your time to shine, um, and we can help you with some of those things. Um, sometimes creating boundaries are enough to, you know, enough to do that. But sometimes we need to to <clears throat> be able to move those portals out, mm -hmm. and we mm -hmm. also need to know exactly why the why the spirits are there. Um, if there's a reason, are they tied to the house? Are they somehow tied to you? Um, so there's there's lots of questions to kind of ask about mm -hmm. this, um, but I think that um, I think that there are some things that we can do to help you 
um, okay. on that piece of it. But setting clear boundaries, you're not allowed to, you know, my bedroom and my bathroom are my sacred spaces and nobody is allowed in there. And I command that you stay out of there. Sometimes that will work, but where you, I think where you have a portal, you've got people kind of coming and going all the time. Yeah. Um, and I'm like, I stage, I do this, and it feels like it's not working. <laughs> It, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. It's not. Uh, it's not what you are doing or not doing. Um, mm -hmm. It could just be that we need to figure out why that portal happens to be in that spot and what's going on. Um, what's going on and keeping the spirits there. So. Okay. And yeah, that makes sense to you because I, I really, I was getting ready the other morning and. I get some visions sometimes. I don't. I don't know how. I don't control it. It just. It, it happens. But while I was putting on my makeup, and I don't even want to say this out loud. I don't even want to articulate it. But as I was putting my makeup on, in my mind, I saw someone like a something that I don't want to say. Not a good energy standing yeah. behind me, and it shifted from my behind my right and then to my left, and yeah. I was like, "You need to leave." I mean, it was like mommy voice came out. That you know that stern. But it scared me to death, and I've done everything I can since then to say this is, that, that that didn't happen, <laughs> you know? So um, what you can do is go over to our page, and we can talk okay. more about it because we have 60 seconds left to the okay. show. And thank Stephanie, you, thank you, so much. Um, you actually have a capacity with spirits, so it's a gift. Uh, oh, so yay. Talk, <laughs> yeah, it is. We can talk more over there. Um, and thank you so much for calling. It's been a pleasure talking with you. Thank you, you Stephanie. Too. Thank you both so much. And You're good welcome. luck with everything. All right. So another fun night, Julie. I know. That's just, I think that would be an awesome topic talking about. Uh, <laughs> I think so. Spirits and angels. So thank you, everybody, for listening to Your Time to Shine with Julie and Darlene. And you can go to our Facebook page if you'd like to have more conversations. Have a great night, everyone.